Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar. Uh, my name is Alok Pant. I'm CEO of Unwired, based in Houston, Texas. And um, today, um, this is part of a series of uh, the digital webinars that we do um, as a part of our digital transformation series. And today's topic is um, optimizing the cleaning, inspection, lubrication, and tightening uh, processes to maximize equipment you know, reliability and uptime. So a few housekeeping notes. Um, at any time, you can submit your questions throughout the webinar in, in the Q&A chat box that you see. Uh, we will have a question and answer session at the end. We'll also open up the line so you, know, you can either send your question as a chat or you know, uh, feel free to speak, speak up. Um, we, are, um, we actually have three special offers for all attendees today. Um, the first one is um, we are very happy to offer a free POC for the Unwired Silt Pro app. Um, we are also offering uh, preferential pricing um, should you like the POC and want to put it in production. And um, also as a part of you know, just um, uh, discovery and, and um, discussing your uh, business pain problem you may have in this area or related area, we are off also offering a 30 minutes one on one con consultation with our experts in this area. So uh, really excited about this webinar. So let's get started. Um, quick note on the speakers. So um, I'm going to again um, uh, welcome our uh, chief speaker today, Praveen Calais, who's our VP of products. And Praveen has over 20 years of experience in digital transformation, uh, business processes, uh, deploying you know, mobile web apps and integrating them with various backend systems, a very strong enterprise focus. And uh, one of the areas that he has been uh, leading is in the area of digitizing asset management. So that could be you know, your work orders, uh, rounds, inspections, and of course, today's topic, which is cleaning, inspecting, lubrication, and tightening, right? A part of the maintenance process. Um, once again, my, my name is Alok. I'm based in Houston, Texas, um, CEO of Unwired. And um, I'm going to take a look at the agenda now. So we'll start off with a quick introduction to Unwired so that everybody understands you know, what uh, we do as a company. Um, we are going to talk a little bit about the silt processes, uh, their role in preventing breakdowns, um, a little discuss a little bit about the paper-based challenges and how embracing digital can help you know, uh, eliminate uh, those challenges. Um, then we will give you a, an overview of the Unwired Silt Pro app so that you can see how this can actually enable you to digitize your sale process. Uh, and I think what would be most interesting to the audience is we will discuss a real life customer case study. This is a CPG manufacturing company in the US uh, which has implemented the Unwired Sil Pro, Pro app. Um, then we will talk about some of the best practices and then you know how do you get started on uh, digitizing your silk process. How can Unwired and we um, Unwired and you partner? Um, and then, of course, we will have a Q&A session. Let me move on to the next slide. So Unwired um, is a certified SAP partner company. We are headquartered in Houston. Uh, what we do is we provide digital solutions um, in with by building mobile apps. We build a lot of web apps. We integrate with backend systems, with your maintenance systems, with your ERP systems, um, and we really enable the mobile worker out there to be very productive, right? So we like to say that we enable the connected worker. So that's really our DNA. That's our focus. Um, in terms of our solutions, we have quite a broad, uh, you know, um, offering. But for today's webinar, we want to focus on the solutions. We have in the area of mobile asset management, asset maintenance, uh, which um, is uh, you know consists of uh, three or two, two or three applications around operator rounds, work orders, inventory and warehouse management, and of course today's topic, which is the silt processes. So, so one of our big focus areas is mobilizing asset maintenance, asset management, and we also along with that offer um, solutions in the area of digital health, safety, and environment. So we have applications for work permits, safety forms, safety observations, 
and together we bring safety and asset management uh, because they go hand in hand. And that is what we really focus on. Again, tying in with the theme of the connected worker. Um, as far as the customer base goes, uh, our strongest, uh, our biggest base is, as you can imagine, in the USA and Canada. So very North American focused uh, customer base. But having said that, we also have customers across the globe in South Africa, New Zealand, Australia, Europe, um, and also South America. All right. Um, one of the questions that people always, um, you know, pose to us is, okay, what are your differentiators? And I think this is a very important question because when we, even in our in our personal lives, when we are buying uh, anything, right, we always trying to see how is this product different from the other products. So in terms of differentiators, we like to start off with the fact that we have um, we have several happy reference customers. In fact, all our customers are reference customers, and we take great pride in customer delight. That's one of our core values. Um, cost leadership or value is another differentiator for us. Um, remote implementations. So we do hybrid implementations, you know, a combination of on-site and remote. Uh, and uh, especially after COVID, uh, you know, people have really moved or embraced the idea of remote or hybrid implementations that also helps keep costs low. So we are very good at that. Um, we are very flexible. We like to custom. We like to listen to customer requirements. We understand that requirements may change over time, and we are very flexible and willing to work with customers as their processes or their or their needs change. And we're also an SAP certified uh, company, which really reassures customers that when it comes to enterprise security, you know we are able to deliver robust, secure solutions. And quick. Um, couple of recognition um, that we mention of recognition that we've got. Um, so we've got regularly featured in the in Gartner, which is the leading IT analyst. Most recently, um, last year we were featured in their report that talked about you know application development. Um, and as you can see, we've got through the years our fair share of recognition. Let's now come to the topic at hand. So what is SILT processes? Uh, many of you are probably familiar with SILT. But just so that everybody's on the same page, we are going to talk about today about the cleaning, inspecting, lubricating, and tightening process that uh, operators do as a part of their you know daily workload, right? Um, this falls within the broad area of total productive maintenance. Um, also, uh, when we talk to customers, uh, they tell us this is a part of their auto autonomous maintenance, right? With the whole idea there being enabling the operator to take ownership of the equipment. Um, you know, just like when we drive our cars, right? Uh, each of each one of us can look for, hey, is the oil low? Is this the check engine light on? Are you taking care of the of care of the car that we drive? The idea is, is similar, right? Letting the operator take care of the routine maintenance so that the 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 heavy duty field technician only comes in when something really breaks down. And so the whole idea is to prevent that breakdown and operator ownership as we as we call it. Um, the benefits of performing this, these routine SIL tasks are increased equipment reliability. You're going to min minimize your maintenance costs. And I think very interestingly, you know, you're getting the operator really engaged uh, with the equipment or the pieces of equipment they're managing. And all this leads to increased productivity, increased uptime, increased revenues for the company, more enhanced safety, all those things, right? So that's what we want to talk about today. So when we talk to several of our customers, you know, some of them have made it digital, but many of uh, the customers are today still using paper-based SIL processes. So you know, the, you know, they print out the work orders, and then the operator is checking off the list, the tasks they are doing. Uh, but the problem is that there is no uh, real-time visibility, right? So uh, um, you know, a plan manager or a safety manager would like to know, hey, this this incident was reported. Or um, and was it ever completed, right? It, was that loop ever closed? So they don't have the visibility, right? Um, are my standard operating procedures being uh, executed? You know, uh, what is my unplanned downtime? Uh, how is that going? And in terms of um, uh, is the issue being resolved on time? So all the this is very difficult to manage when it comes to a paper-based challenge. And this is what we are finding with customers, and the case study we will discuss actually addresses this very point. Um, so with that, I'm going to um, hand it over to my colleague, Praveen, who's been uh, leading our initiative on this. He's deployed the customer case study. So Praveen, maybe you can start from here and take us over the next few slides. Over to you. 
So thanks a lot, Alok, for that uh, very interesting analogy of uh, you know uh, a driver responsible for his own car. So most of us uh, drive our own cars. We have our bikes or cars, and uh, like Alok was mentioning, uh, we can take a little bit of responsibility in ensuring that our vehicles operate in an optimal condition at all points in time. And only maybe six months or a year or a two-year uh, maintenance cycle, you would go to the garage and then the technicians would do that regular maintenance activities on the equipment. So whenever you talk about a CMMS or any reliability solution, you talked about preventive maintenance and reactive maintenance. Reactive maintenance is where something breaks down and you have a skilled uh, technician who comes in and starts fixing the equipment. Preventive maintenance is where, uh, again, uh, 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 maybe you take your vehicles to the garage every six months, every one year, and there are some regular checks which are done on the uh, vehicle from, a, from the perspective of the mechanic who's, uh, who's responsible for not just your vehicle, but for multiple vehicles. So something that you know, can, uh, uh, can be spotted maybe today or tomorrow, need not wait six months or one year down the line when you take your vehicles to the uh, maintenance uh, garage uh, for an inspection, right? So the SILT application, what we're trying to do here is give that responsibility of the preventive maintenance to the operator so that the operators can, the equipment that they're really operating on is something which they can be uh, responsible for in maintaining the optimal operations of that, right? So in a SILT application, basically the scope is uh, such that it is targeted at an operator of a specific equipment. So in a plant, you have multiple operators. Each operator is operating on a piece of uh, you know, the production line. So let's say you have a production line with a lot of equipment on it, but you have uh, different operators at different stages on that production line. So that operator is responsible for that piece of equipment, and he only needs to be given instructions on how to you know uh, not just operate it but also have uh, instructions on how to you know uh, maintain it and uh, upkeep it so cilt clean inspect lubricate and tighten so that's uh, that's as simple as that right and if there is a solution that can instruct the technician and give him a list of steps that the technician or the operator can follow at the convenience of his uh, you know mobile phone or a tablet is what the silt application uh, intends to achieve. So if you look at the capabilities of a SILT application, right? So the application that we have is both web enabled and uh, and also available on a mobile app uh, in an offline mode of operation. So you don't really have to be connected to a CMMS system at any point in time. Uh, not just uh, the steps that the operator needs to perform, but let's say if there's a new operator who has just been inducted into your shop flow. So he might need instructions on what exactly uh, you know to inspect how to clean, how to lubricate. So all of that information is something that you may store in a different document management systems, be it SharePoint or OpenText. So imagine giving all that information to the uh, new operator uh, contextually uh, uh, you know, uh, on his uh, mobile device. So that would be a lot more convenient for him uh, to be able to do it on his own uh, instead of relying on uh, you know, somebody else to actually come and instruct him or to train him. Right? And the solution that we have is both, uh, you know, it offers a very flexible mode of deployment. You can deploy it on cloud uh, or on premise, and it integrates not just with SAP. We have a standard integration with uh, your SAP system, but you can also integrate it with uh, any other CMMS system that you may choose to, you know, uh, use in your in your companies. So some of the features uh, in, from the context of an SAP perspective. Um, so how would somebody design such uh, a maintenance? Uh, you know, process, right? So whenever you talk about SAP, you have a work order, and a work order has a set of operations, and each operation is nothing but an instruction uh, for either the technician or operator to perform, right? And you can have, uh, if you look at a SIL sheet, what you see on the right-hand side is just a snapshot of what the solution may look like, and you see that you have some visual cues. So you have a palm, which indicates to clean, and then you have an oil can, which indicates that you need to lubricate. So the task describes to the operator what exactly needs to be done. Is it a task which involves cleaning, lubricating, inspection, or tightening? Along with the instruction to perform uh, for the technician, uh, 
it might also be required uh, for the technician to know at what frequencies, what intervals does this task need to be performed? Uh, does the uh, equipment need to be in a running condition or does it need to stop before carrying out a particular task? And the ability to indicate that such a task has been completed. So a SILT application is a very simple application. It is not complicated as a full-fledged EM application, which tries to you know, give a lot more context and information to a maintenance technician who might need that information to you know, uh, address a certain problem in the field. Here, the operator is the prime focus, and we just give him the basic information that is required to perform his SILT activities. Right? Once uh, the operators uh, start uh, completing their uh, tasks, uh, this information is uh, you know, sent to the managers um, in the in, in the back end for them to monitor in real time. So we talked about, uh, you know, the ability to display to the user what exactly uh, he needs to be uh, doing in terms of the SILT process. Uh, so how do uh, companies map their SILT activities, right? Uh, from an SAP perspective, it's a work order. In a work order, you have operations, and those are the, uh, you know, uh, list of uh, activities that you see. If it's any other CMMS, maybe uh, let's take, for example, an Excel sheet. We can also connect to an Excel-based system. We can also connect to a relational database. And all those activities that you perform there can be brought down and then displayed to the user in the SILT application. And as far as task completion is concerned, uh, from an SAP perspective, you can have user statuses maintained on the operation, which can be used to indicate that this activity has been completed. But if it's any other CMMS, which is Excel based or which is a database, uh, relational database based, then we can always go to the database and update the status to indicate the task completion. So that is something that you can do. And uh, so what you can also see here is the tab on top, which indicates the tasks that have to be performed in a particular shift or in a particular day. So you can get a complete history of uh, you know, tasks that have been completed or not completed uh, over a period of time. And uh, that you know brings in a certain level of uh, accountability uh, on the part of the operator uh, in terms of uh, the upkeep of his equipment. And the application um, it operates in both modes, right? So it operates um, uh, as a web application, which is online, and as an offline mobile application. So it, it is not uh, that you always have to be connected to the system to carry out your activities. You may be working in a shop floor where there is no connectivity to the uh, the backend CMMS, right? Uh, so you can always capture all the tasks related uh, to the upkeep of your equipment. And then if it's a web-based solution, you can submit it in real time. Uh, but if it's a, a mobile application also, you can submit this. And whenever there's connectivity, uh, the uh, you know updates from your mobile devices get synced uh, with uh, the server. And uh, the dashboard on the server side will enable the uh, the plant manager or the you know rig managers to uh, see the progress uh, of all the activities on the shop floor. Um, as far as reporting and compliance is concerned, it is a much better uh, alternative to paper-based processes because when whenever you're capturing information on paper, it is very difficult to you know uh, analyze uh, what you have captured on paper. So you need to have somebody who takes that information, puts it into uh, an electronic uh, format, which then can be analyzed. But here we have uh, no such uh, problems. Uh, whatever is captured is in real time, and all of that information is available for immediate. Uh, analysis and reporting. And the uh, a digital solution makes it very uh, convenient uh, for different people to collaborate uh, with uh, you know, uh, each other uh, in terms of uh, maybe uh, you know, messaging somebody um, uh, you know, uh, or getting information from your colleagues. So all of that information can be had uh, you know, directly through your application itself. Uh, and uh, as Olok mentioned earlier, this application uh, definitely helps improve, uh, you know, the uh, operator engagement and it helps improve the productivity of the operator because the operator, from the convenience of his device, can get access to all the information that he needs instead of, you know, uh, talking to multiple people or going to multiple places. So this is the capabilities of the uh, SILT uh, Pro application. So let's go to the customer case study. I think this will make it real for people they can imagine they can see how the solution has been deployed so uh, go ahead Praveen. Yeah so this uh, case study it's a very interesting case study uh, from a packaging and recycling company. Uh, we've also had this implemented um, in uh, you know uh, quite a few other companies as well but the basic premise is the same. 
So this company has a production line, and this production line has it's it's a uh, you know uh, has multiple equipment and different people operating at various stages, and uh, the inaction of one person does not you know lubricate his equipment or does not inspect or keep it clean. What happens is the entire production line may come to a halt, right? Or if uh, the uh, if there are contaminants on the production line, it could so happen that the end product could result in being of poor quality and the entire batch being rejected. So the company uh, that we're talking about wanted to have a simple application that empowers the operators to do this silt, right? The technician uh, can always come in and then fix when it's broken, but to prevent the equipment from breaking down and the production line to come to a halt. So they needed a simple solution wherein the the silt activities, right, or the processes steps, which was, uh, let's say, modeled as an SAP work order, was to be displayed on the mobile uh, device of the users, not as individual pieces of work, not as one work order with three operations, another work order with four operations for tightening or inspection, but the consolidated view of multiple work orders with all the operations specific to a particular operator visible on his device so that they could individually complete the tasks which have been assigned to them. So, like I said, if you look at uh, an SAP work order, right, uh, you would go to uh, transaction uh, in SAP ECC, for example, you would go to, uh, you know, IW32 and edit the work order, right? You would look at the operations and then, you know, operate on it. But here, we're taking all these operations, we are removing the complexity of the work order. We, we do not, uh, you know, uh, show complicated views of the SAP system to the uh, operator, but just a list of 10 activities for the user to perform on a daily basis in a particular shift, letting him know that this is the task that needs to be performed, uh, which is uh, required of him. And if there's any information that he needs to uh, refer to, uh, that information would be made available to them from the uh, document management system, uh, in this case, which was a SharePoint system. So SharePoint uh, had a lot of documents uh, which uh, uh, instructed the operator to, uh, you know, uh, do the silt activities, and all these documents were made available for the user on his uh, uh, mobile device in an offline mode for him to easily refer to. And if there was any uh, issue that the user was, um, you know, noticing in in an equipment which he could not fix, then the ability to create a, a report a notification on that particular equipment, so that you know an experienced technician could then come and inspect the equipment and then take the necessary actions to you know, rectify that problem. So with with this solution, uh, you know, uh, the number of incidents of, uh, you know, breakdown was, uh, you know, reduced to a very, a very large extent to, uh, you know, no breakdowns at all, uh, at least uh, which could have been avoided by, you know, the silt uh, processes. And, um, uh, and the application was made available to them both uh, on the mobile uh, devices, uh, you know, on the Android uh, phones, and uh, the ability to report all of these uh, ta task completions uh, on the uh, dashboard as well. So I think, can you talk a little bit about the management side? So from a task completion, uh, I think they have, we built a dashboard. Uh, so how, how did management use this to make sure that, you know, things were tracked and completed? Yeah, so from a management perspective, Alok, uh, like I said, accountability was something which they wanted to enforce. Uh, because uh, if the previous processes uh, involved them conducting the silt activities on a piece of paper, and the users would just take uh, whatever the activities that were done and then used to file it in. Uh, so nobody knew when these uh, sheets of paper were filled and when these were filed in. Uh, but here, because of the silt application, since everything is in real time, whenever the operator completes his activity, uh, that information goes to the uh, uh, management and they're able to in real time track all these tasks uh, as uh, open or completed. And for any reason, if the operator is not able to complete a particular activity, uh, a valid reason has to be uh, indicated with a val uh, justification of why that ta task or activity would not be completed. And an and alert is also sent to the main maintenance system, be it SAP, Maxim, or whatever, to, for, a, for a maintenance person to follow up for anything not being able to, res not resolved by the operator, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, yeah, all is. right. Anything else you want to highlight in this case study before we uh, take start taking questions and go towards the end? Any other, any other interesting point, any challenges or 
anything unique that you found? Hey, you know, this was really different on in on this um, uh, on this case study. Uh, in terms of difference, Alok, it's just that um, I mean uh, the realization that you can have the equipment performing at optimal levels just by empowering the operator, right? And not having okay. to rely on on a complicated uh, EM solution is something which uh, you know was proven by the solution. So you, okay. I mean, the operators themselves are able to you know use a simple solution, and uh, you know uh, keep the plant working at optimal limits. Okay, so very operator focused uh, application, as is the role anyway for SILT, right? All right, got it. On so I think before we go to the Q and A, just a couple of things. Um, you know, as we are talking to our customers, these are some of, we wanted to share some best practices uh, based on not research but what our customers are saying. So you know, you clearly you need standardized procedures, right? You want to prioritize the tasks that the operators have to do, and this is what the SILT app enables. As Praveen mentioned, the operator gets a very simple list of the 10 things they need to do that day instead of trying to hunt in the CMS system. Right, you can do better data analysis. You have digital data now. You can do all kinds of reporting on it, analysis on it, and this sets you up for a continuous improvement uh, cycle, right? So that uh, you can, you know, make sure that your workplace is safer and more productive every day. It enables collaboration between maintenance and operators and management. I think that's a key thing, right? And um, Really, it also is a part of training and education. As Praveen mentioned, there's a new operator who has joined your workforce. They can retrieve documents from SharePoint or OpenText or whatever your DMS system is. So I think the, the app enables a lot of the best practices that you may want to implement in, in SILT, right? Um, and then um, the question is, how do, you, how do you get started on this journey if you're still doing paper-based SILT processes? There are various ways we can start engaging um, as we mentioned before, we are you know offering a free POC, so you know avail of this offer. Um, you want to talk to us just to get started, uh, understand, explain to us your situation, and you know we are happy to have a 30 minutes, one hour call with you, no problem. And then of course we, you know we will give you preferential pr pricing should you decide to go in production. So so you know we are trying to make it easy for you to get started on on a digital silt, if you will. And if you need to contact us, we're in Houston. Uh, that's our phone number. That's my email. Please reach out. Feel free to reach out to me. And we're happy to have a conversation, for, so set up follow on calls. With that, let's open it up for Q&A. So there is a question. So in SAP, we would love to have a default template for maintenance notification with a particular priority. I know in SAP this can be done, but can you guide on how to do this in SAP? Is there a way your tool can do this different from a standard SAP or SAP configuration transaction? So uh, yeah, uh, like I mentioned to you, uh, the operator not only maintains his equipment, but he also can report any issues uh, regarding that particular equipment if he can't fix it himself. So. A reporting of such an issue is uh, in SAP done uh, through an SAP notification, right? So whether uh, we allow the user to select the priority, select the uh, the subject code, or maybe enter the description long text of the notification, how do we want to present it? Do we want to present it to him as an SAP notification creation screen, or like you said, uh, a template uh, which uh, contains you know the driver information. Uh, the uh, the tier, the risk matrix index. So the template, right? Uh, what is interesting is uh, uh, not just the SILT application. We also have something called as the Turbo Forms solution, which allows you to you know build these templates. You know uh, the uh, any business analyst would be able to build these templates using a drag and drag and drop uh, builder, which can then be integrated along with your SILT uh, uh, application which then can be used to submit this information into SAP and then create a notification. If you want to default a particular priority based on the object time, if you want to uh, you know, uh, assign uh, uh, subject coding or a failure mode for that particular notification, that is something which, can, which you can also default on these templates. Uh, so you can have different templates created for different object types, and all of these can be associated with uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the SILT application. And uh, you should be able to create uh, notifications uh, in SAP. Uh, the advantage of creating this uh, drag and drop uh, forms uh, template is that even if you do not have an SAP solution, wherein uh, there is a notification that cannot be created in SAP, 
you can still use these uh, templates to capture the uh, information and then put it into a relational database or you can put it in an excel sheet so you can definitely capture uh, you know uh, you know issues that the operator might notice uh, on a particular requirement great any other questions okay, so there is a question on how this silto application is different than a typical mobilium solution that is you know for asset maintenance so let's say let's if i compare this to the um, unwired enterprise asset management the asset management application is again targeted at a maintenance technician whereas the silt uh, application the target is the operator so the silt is basically a subset of the larger em application wherein the basic maintenance of the equipment is something which we empower or enable the operator operator to perform so uh, so that is the fundamental difference between the silt application and the larger em application so it's a simpler application i guess compared to the uh, more robust mobile work order application that we have i guess that's what the question is right so there is another question how is the pricing model how does it work so we give you two options um, so we have um, you know the standard per user per month saas space pricing that is the way uh, that is a preferred mode of uh, selling this product but in case you want to do more of a you know capital expenditure and one time payment we can also you know sell this as a one time payment so it's both perpetual license as well as a subscription saas based per user per month pricing and you know if you are interested uh, you know to talk more about pricing we can have a separate discussion but they give you the flexibility both opex and capex you can buy it either which way there is a, one more question can this application handle complex workflow because you said that this application is more of a simple application for uh, routine maintenance so uh, can it handle complex workflows yes definitely uh, so this application is simple in terms of providing a simple view for the operator to perform his activities but once the activity is completed and the task is submitted what happens in the background is something which is uh, you know not visible to the end user who, which is the operator in this case so in terms of enabling workflows like what happens when a task is completed can i trigger a notification and let somebody know can i send an email notification can i create a notification uh, in sap or can i automatically create a work order in sap so all of these are you know activities that can be performed in the back end system and these uh, are you know just some of these workflow steps that can be executed as a result of a uh, task completion activity on the silt application itself so yes uh, like i mentioned to you it's not just integration with uh, sap but it's also integration with uh, you know relational databases excel sheets uh, so all of these are nothing but you know uh, workflow steps or uh, you know subsequent activities that happen outside the application which the operator uses so yes definitely we can have complicated uh, you know workflow steps and processes uh, which uh, act as a follow up to the uh, sil uh, application itself all right so if there are no other questions i think it's good that we should wrap it up now uh, thank you everyone for your time just reminding everyone you know we are offering a free poc so just reach out to us contact details are in the slide on the slide that you see right now we'll also send you the a copy of the slides a link to these uh, to the webinar so you can also share it with your colleagues uh, once again thank you everyone for your time today and looking forward to uh, you know having a conversation on this uh, in the future thank you